In today's lesson, we're going to learn the basic open chords. A chord is where we play more than one string at the same time. Usually, we'll play all six strings at once. The reason that they are called open chords is that they generally contain a mixture of open strings and fretted strings. You will find that these will be a fantastic way to exercise and strengthen your fingers and will become the building blocks for thousands of songs in the future. First of all, we need to get our fretting hand in the correct position. Start by placing your thumb on the back of the neck like this. Try to keep your hand relaxed as you will soon realize that it doesn't take that much effort to press the strings down. We will now place the fingers of our fretting hand in a certain way on the neck of the guitar. This will give us our first chord. We put our first finger behind the first fret on the G or third string like this. Then we put our middle finger behind the second fret on the A or fifth string. Lastly, place your third finger on the second fret of the D or fourth string. This gives us the chord of E major. Please strum all the strings to hear how this sounds. You will notice that I'll be providing a diagram or chord box for every chord you'll be learning in this lesson. This is a visual reminder of where to place your fingers to play each chord. Now we will remove our first finger from the neck. This is now the chord of E minor. Please strum all the strings. Now put your first finger back to play E major again. Strum. This time, take your third finger off. Now you are playing E seventh. Strum again. Now take all your fingers off the neck and rest them for a few seconds. I know that this can be a painful process to start with, but with plenty of practice, it will become easier. I would like to mention at this point to please make sure that you are only pressing one string down with each finger to achieve a clean sounding chord. If you are in any doubt, then pluck across the strings one at a time while you are fretting the chord shape to check that you can hear each note clearly. Keeping the fingernails of your fretting hand nice and short can usually help with this. Next, we will learn the three A chords. Place your first finger on the second fret of the fourth or D string, your middle finger on the second fret of the third or G string, and your third finger on the second fret of the second or B string. This is the chord of A major. Strum. This can be a little tricky to start with as your fingers are very close together, but keep trying and you will manage it. Now take your middle finger off. This is A seventh. Try going between A major and A seventh a few times. Strum all the strings with each change. Next, we have A minor. Place your first finger on the second string at the first fret, middle finger on the fourth string at the second fret, and your third finger on the third string at the second fret. Now strum across all the strings. Notice that your fingers are now making the same shape as the E major chord, but on different strings. A good exercise to practice now is to move your fingers back and forward between A minor and E major. Try to keep your fingers in the same shape as you do this and strum each chord four times like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now we will move on to the D chords. Put your middle finger on the top E or first string at the second fret, your first finger on the third string at the second fret, and third finger on the second string, third fret. This is D major. This time we don't strum all six strings. Instead we strum across from the fifth string to the first, like this. Now we come to D7. Put your third finger on the first string at the second fret, first finger on the second string at the first fret, and your middle finger on the third string at the second fret. Once again, strum from the fifth to the first string like this. Next, put your first finger on the first string, first fret, middle finger on the third string, second fret, 
and third finger on the second string at the third fret. This is D minor. Again, strum from the fifth to the first string. Now we come to two G chords. Place your middle finger on the bottom E or sixth string at the third fret, first finger on the fifth string, second fret, and third finger on the first string, third fret. This is G major. Strum all six strings. Next, put your first finger on the first string, first fret, middle finger on the fifth string, second fret, and stretch your third finger onto the sixth string at the third fret. Now you are playing G7. Strum all six strings. You will find some of these chord shapes quite difficult to begin with, but with a little patience and a lot of practice, they will become easier as time goes on. Try changing the angle of your hand to help you to put your fingers in the right positions. Now we have a couple of C chords. Place your first finger on the second string, first fret, middle finger on the fourth string, second fret, and third finger on the fifth string, third fret. This is C major. Strum all six strings. Hold the C major shape and use your fourth or little finger to press down the third string at the third fret. Strum. This chord is C7. At this point, I'd like you to check that your thumb is still in the right place on the back of the neck. Next, we have B7. Put your first finger on the fourth string, first fret, middle finger on the fifth string, second fret, third finger on the third string, second fret, and little finger on the first string at the second fret. As with the D chords, we only strum from the fifth string to the first. Lastly, for this lesson, we have what is known as easy F major, although you may not find it that easy to begin with. I know that I didn't. For this chord, we need to use one finger to fret two strings at the same time. Put your first finger across the first and second strings at the first fret like this, then put your middle finger on the third string, second fret. Then put your third finger on the fourth string at the third fret. This time we only strum from the fourth string to the first, like this. Please try moving between any of the chords we've learned today to get your fingers used to the different shapes, and before you know it, they will become second nature to you. Bye for now.